I'm getting musky down here. Alright guys, we're back. Now, before you want to do anything in this basement, you want to gonna get a flashlight, um, Seesaw's batteries, and a light bulb. And um, you can all get these from the Tomato Convenience Store, so what you're gonna just want to do is press A on it to activate it. And um, if you don't have the flashlight, Rio says it's too dark to like go down there, so you won't go, so you, you need those, so... Here we go in the basement, hopefully the phoenix mirror is down here, so let's see what stuff we can find down here. So first of all, what you're gonna wanna do around here is to replace the light bulb, so get the light bulb that you bought and plug it in right there. Now I just need to flip the switch. And we can flip the switch, which is right next to the door right here, well the passageway. And God said, let there be light. So now, we don't need the flashlight on anymore. Now first of all, what you can get in this basement is a new move. Which is called Stab Armor. The Stab Armor? It looks like the name of a move. Uh, what's the difference between writing that's in the context of fight moves and writing that's not in the context of fight moves? Don't ask me. Elixir of Eternal Youth. I remember my father telling me about it being used by martial arts experts in China. Where did father get this? Now why doesn't Rio just drink it or something? Cause like that'd make him like a pro martial artist. But anyway, continuing on. In the right corner of the room there'll be this box which initiates a little cutscene. It's father when he was young. But who's that with him? Some people think that's Sun Ming Zhao, but fuck if I know, and I guess we'll never know since Shenmue 3 is never coming. So on to the next thing. So to the left of the entrance, you can see this little treasure box here, which gives you this cutscene. It says, all good deeds shall be rewarded. Did my father write it? So now we got all that stuff out of the way, what you gotta do now is look at the floor. These scratches must be from the shelves. That must mean someone's been dragging that shelf, so let's try and drag it over here. Okay, now this has got to be the Phoenix Mirror. No, a different a colored wall. Color slightly different. Now by video game logic, that must mean we can smash that wall open. So what you're gonna wanna get is this axe near the entrance, well, to the right of the entrance. And now, why does Rio hold it like that? He's got, like, the blade pointing upwards. Wouldn't that be, like, harder to carry well, than if it was pointing downwards? Switch. And by the way, I do not know why he said that, but here we go. <laughs> This is the Hazuki family crest. This box. Got it. It's the Phoenix Mirror. Son, you found the mirror? So that's the Phoenix mirror? It's kind of creepy, eh? I feel like it's pulling me in. 
Ryo, Ryo san, stop it, please. You think it could be cursed? No, I don't think it's cursed. Uh huh? I have a feeling about it, but I can't explain. Hey, see what I mean? That's dangerous. Are you possessed? Folks, uh, get real, would you? What? I'm serious. Enough. Give me some time alone, okay? Uh, sure. I should take this mirror to Master Chen. Frodo, don't wear the ring. <laughs>